In a story you'll see only here on Action News, the only three female head coaches at the two community colleges are suing the district. Action News anchor Corin Hogger joins us from the newsroom now with the salary differences as well as other complaints. Corin. Dale and Margo, the lawsuit claims long-standing and pervasive gender discrimination and unequal treatment. So I dug into public records to see if there really is a difference in salaries. And what I found might surprise you. They came out on fire and really wanted it. Rhonda Williams led her Fresno City College Rams to a 27-game winning streak in an undefeated conference season in 2016. The school rewarded the softball coach by making her the highest paid woman in junior college sports in the Central Valley. But that same year, it paid four men more. But when you look at the uh, list of the top coach to the bottom coach, the women are down, down to, toward the bottom. Is there a reason for that other than gender? And if there's not, this is a good lawsuit. Public records show Williams made $18,000 less than FCC football coach Tony Caviglia that year and almost $25,000 less in 2015 when the State Center Community College District paid five male coaches more than Williams. And she doesn't just coach softball. She's an assistant coach on the golf team, too. Williams joined Reedley College softball coach Kathy Kubal and volleyball coach Shannon Jeffries in a lawsuit accusing the district of discrimination against female coaches and athletes. Their attorney, Warren Pabujan, successfully sued Fresno State for similar violations a decade ago, helping to win more than $20 million for three female coaches and an athletic administrator. You have an attorney who's done this before. He's been very successful at it. He is an outstanding attorney. The women say it's not just salaries making things unequal. It's a long list of things favoring the men who coach and the young men who play, from locker rooms and equipment to travel and scheduling. Pabujan tells me the case is clear cut and legal analyst Tony Capozzi expects him to get to the bottom of the issue. But when you start taking depositions of the female coaches, the male coaches, and those who set those salaries, other things may come out to establish there was no basis for this. And if there isn't, it's got to go back to the gender difference, and that's prohibited by law. A spokeswoman for the State Center Community College District told me they can't comment on pending litigation, but she said the district is committed to gender equity and abiding by the law. We'll have a lot more information on our website at abc30.com, including the full list of salaries paid to coaches in 2015 and 2016. From the newsroom, Corin Hoggard, ABC 30 Action News.